Hey boys and welcome back to another Bleach Race Soul video and today it is currently the 12th of December and you all know what that means tomorrow for me at least 8am GMT we are going to get the mid-month announcement of December and that's all but confirmed to be the Christmas banner so yes in the comments below if you guys want to join in too make sure you let me know what your prediction is for this banner we can come back to this video in 12 or so hours time and see if we got any of them right and also just for this one I want to do a funny video sometime after this banner does get announced where whatever characters you want to see for a Christmas banner I'm gonna make it a reality, right? I'm not gonna say what I mean by that, but again, make sure in the comments below let me know what characters you want to see for this Christmas banner, and you might see something special in the coming days. That being said, why are we talking about a Christmas mid month? Well, if you don't know, the mid month of December for the last like five or so years has always been a Christmas banner. Now, you might be one of those few people out there that are saying, well, we didn't get a Halloween banner this year, maybe we're not gonna get a Christmas banner this year. Well, I'll tell you why that's not the case. The mid month of October, or October in general, is actually very, very packed in terms of what banners they could release. For example, Burn the Witch. I feel like the main reason we didn't get a Halloween banner last year was because of Burn the Witch, right? If we didn't get Burn the Witch exactly when it did because it came out pretty much at the start of October, they had to release something related to Burn the Witch and that's why we got that as the mid-month instead of getting a Halloween banner. And another reason, and I don't see anyone talking about this, is actually on their site, the Bleach Brave Souls site. They actually have a little banner going on. I think it's called the Brave Souls End of Year Bash. I don't think anyone's talked about it because they haven't announced it in-game, but on that site, they have confirmed we are getting the Ban Kalashim on the 27th, and they also have a special Christmas event going on on the 16th. I think it's called the Postcards or something. They did this last year as well. So, if we're getting a Christmas themed event for the 16th, and that's exactly when the banner drops, it's obviously we're going to be getting a Christmas banner for mid month. So, again, for those doubters out there, mid month is going to be a Christmas banner. And now that I've mentioned that, who do I think is going to be in this banner? So, it's going to be Christmas, whether that's a just a normal Christmas banner or they're going to go with a new society like they've been doing for the other ones, still Christmas themed. I have no idea, but I will say because it's a seasonal banner, we're probably going to see three females. And I know some people are going to be happy about that. And a lot of people are going to be disappointed in that because we want to see other characters like myself included. I'm I'm a wife connoisseur. I like my waifus, but I would like to see some fun characters. Like, I mean, obviously I'm a bit biased here, but Christmas out in yellow, that would be quite fun. Christmas Barragon, Christmas Head Captain Yamamoto, which they kind of hinted at that in the, one of the past sub stories. There's a few things they could do. There's a few fun things they could do, but Caleb Gold is safe now, I guess, which is giving us free waifus for the banner. And I'm honestly expecting that to be the case this time. So who do I think will be in this upcoming Christmas banner? Well, my first prediction is going to be, and it's in the thumbnail, is that we're probably going to see a Christmas Orihime. The reason why I say this is because Caleb need to release a popular female character they know will just drive the simps in, right? And with the Christmas banner, because we received a lot of females in the past, or a lot of waifus, I guess, you know, someone like Halibo, Yoruichi, uh, Story Fun, Retsu. So because we already received all those popular females, Ruka and stuff like that, I feel like the last popular character to get a Christmas version that's already received a lot of seasons in the past is going to be Orihime, and I can definitely see that happening. So Orihime is my first prediction. The second prediction is probably going to be a repeat of someone that we've already received. So maybe another Rukia, maybe another Ruka, maybe another Yoroichi, maybe another Halibo. I don't know, but I'm more so leaning on the side of Yoroichi. I don't think that's going to hunt and happen, but I feel like we're probably going to see some kind of repeat character. And then the third character is just going to be someone far out there that I probably wouldn't expect, like Mila Rose, maybe even a Mayuri. I don't know, but I'm leaning more so on the side of Mila Rose, mainly because a lot of people have been commenting that, and I'm I kind of want to see it, right? If we look at the past Tres Bestia characters, the Apache and Sun Sun, both of them have already received seasonal characters in the past, and Mila Rose is the last one to happen, and I definitely would like to see that happening, because that's more so of a wish list than a prediction for Mila Rose, but if that happens, I'll be excited nonetheless. That being said, that's my prediction. I don't think it's going to hunch and happen, because I'm always wrong, but either way, I'm going to be happy about this banner. What I can definitely see happening, and I'll be surprised if it doesn't, is that there's probably going to be that final Link's not character that we've all been waiting for. The reason I'm saying this is because, obviously, December is going to be a stack. It already is a stacked month. We just got the Drugan banner rerun. We're getting the voting banner on the 26th, and we are getting the end of year banner on the 31st. So if Caleb are smart, and they want to make sure that people have another reason to summon besides waifus, they would definitely put the Link's or character in that. And I'm kind of hoping that's not the case, because then I can skip the banner. But if they do... I'm going to have to summon because I like links or characters. So that being said, I hope you guys did enjoy the video. In the comments below, let me know what your guys' prediction is for this upcoming mid-month banner. And again, and also let me know what characters you want to see because I'm going to turn that into a video, a special video in the coming days. So stay tuned for that. Make sure you are subscribed. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.